Hello everyone, welcome back. It is April 1st, and no, this is not an April Fool's joke. I am back hunting again. I'm headed to a spot this evening that should be really good. The wind's out of the east-southeast, which is perfect for this ladder stand. It's one of my favorite stands to sit at. I have no clue what's coming in because I haven't been out here to check. But hopefully the pigs show up and I get one stuck this evening. Got a really light, light wind. It's about six miles an hour, which is pretty good. I like it to be between five and 10. And so hopefully the pigs cooperate and they come in for you. We'll see. But stick around and we'll see what happens. Well, I got set up and real quick, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have been following along. Um, it's been almost a year since I've been in this stand and I just, I feel kind of rusty. So I want to apologize if the video is kind of, eh, so-so. But hopefully the pigs cooperate tonight. Hopefully they come in. I have no idea what's been coming in, but the ground is really tore up under the feeder. And considering there hadn't been a lot of pressure out here this year or any at all, uh, I'm assuming that they're probably going to come in. So if they cooperate, I'm going to try to get one stuck for you on the ground. We'll see, but uh, stick around and find out.
All right, well that worked out perfect. I had a couple of young bucks come in and started feeding under the feeder for a little bit. And then a few minutes later that boar showed up, ran them off, and uh, he kind of milled around down at the feeder and I was able to get an arrow in him at about 25 yards. It didn't sound like he went very far. He kind of went around and piled up behind me here about 40, 50 yards in the woods. So I'm gonna try to get down while I still got a little bit of light left and uh, see if I can't recover him for you. So it was a good night. Uh, figured it would be. I hadn't been out here in a while. There's been zero pressure. The feeder underneath it has been tore up and so I kind of figured something would be coming in but you just never know when you don't have any cameras out. But anyway I'm gonna try to get down and get this pig recovered for you and hopefully find him and we'll see. Right, I'm down here at the feeder right now. I'm gonna kind of skip to where I think he's at. I think I even see him laying in the woods right here. He didn't go very far at all. It didn't look like he got the best of penetration, but it did the number on him. I saw blood pouring out whenever he made it to the wood line. Grave digger did the trick. Oh, oh, my arrow. Lucky broke my arrow off at the end. Damn it. So I can't get him drug out of here and get some pictures. Well, as you can see, I was able to recover him. I feel extremely fortunate to be successful tonight. Uh, I hadn't been out here in a while. I came out here, oh, I guess a couple weeks ago, filled all the feeders, got them throwing again, and didn't really know what would show up. I could tell by all the, um, the rooting underneath the feeder that the pigs have been in there, so I kind of had a good idea they'd be coming in tonight. This place is pretty notorious for having a lot of pigs, and so I felt, felt pretty good about seeing something, and sure enough, this guy came in, I was able to get a pretty good shot on him. Um, as you've seen, I had a couple young bucks show up to the feeder first. And then uh, this guy showed up and, and ran them off. And that's kind of indicative of what these big boars do. They'll come in and they'll chase off any deer you may have at your feeders. And that's why it's important to kind of get these big ones out of the way and, and get them gone. But he came in just like it was scripted. He milled around a little bit for the feeder, gave me a good 25 yard quarter and away shot. As you can see, kind of went in a little bit here on the back. It looks like it's a bad shot, but it actually quartered up in there and it got vitals. And I tell you, he didn't even go maybe 40 yards and piled up inside the wood line. So 10, 15 seconds, he was done. It was a good, clean, ethical kill. And I'm always fortunate and always glad when that happens. Um, I don't like to see anything suffer uh, any more than it has to. So, But I really appreciate everybody following along. Thank you for, for uh, watching the video. If you like it, hit subscribe. Hit that notifications bell. That way you'll get some stuff in the future. I'm sorry I've been MIA for about a year now. Hopefully everything gets back on track and I'm able to bring you more footage and more hunts like this, more content, because uh, I know you guys enjoy it. But thanks again for following along. And hopefully you'll see me again on my next hunt.